Okay, welcome back to Ark, the main game, Highland, not the brand gen. Where they did an update and they did some stuff, like, aha, uh -huh, new achievements! Like, you're at a gig, I read the Rex and the other brand gen Ark, get that achievement. Freaky D, Giga, the gig achievement. There's a whole bunch of achievements now, like getting the artifacts, like 10, 20 percent, and all the way up to 100 percent, which would be super, super, super crazy. Not sure if the artifact and uh, artifact collector one is uh, fixed yet. The one you collect all the artifacts on the island here. Not sure. Still probably broken. Anyways, they added five new dinos and a harpoon. Okay, if we go in here, let's type in a uh, harpoon. I can read, uh, let's learn all it, then I'll learn the stuff I need to learn it too. Harpoon launcher. There's also I forget. Uh, let's go in here. Let's go with the TOI. There is a toilet. Holy hell! There's a toilet. Crafting. So here, toilet. What do I need to make this said toilet? Stone, wood, metal, cementing, paste. I don't need metal for a. Uh, uh, that's not ingots. That's a raw ore. For a toilet. Seems excessive. I don't know where to need the crystal for. And it'll probably work if you have a single player file or multiplayer play thing that has pooping enabled. I don't, because I like to have food and water turned off when I'm building building, because I got enough to worry about when I get killed by dinos or random glitches all the time. You got a level. More melee. Little lady there. And yeah, there's five new dinos. One is like a hybrid Rex Cardo thing that I don't know where it is at. Uh, there is a hyena in the snow biome. And there are impacts. Uh, there is some. Well, there is the like, uh, wall crawler cave thing, a uh, lizard thing that crawls in walls, no, probably in ceilings and caves. That's gonna be fun to get. Uh, what else? Uh, emotes galore for collecting these achievements too. Just a female version of this guy because I think there's eggs or these mini stakos or whatever they are called. I forgot. Okay, I found out that there's a giant sloth somewhere. I have to figure that out. He might need, need be honey. A couple, uh, one dino needs a kibble egg from this Kentosaurus. So I have to go find a female one of him somewhere. If it was Light Red Shark, I found out they spawned somewhere on the top of the mountain. I also probably want to do a Dino Wipe just in case stuff. There is a, like a small type of bird that poops out a, a golden egg, which you can't be tamed by any regular needs. So you have to kill like fish in the ocean, buy it, then bring it up to it. That's some weird taming effect in this. Okay, I'm up back here. The wolves are still here. They are glowing for some reason. I have no idea why. There's a T-Rex there. They can stay there. I have no idea why this one wolf is glowing like that. This is bizarre. It's mated. It's neutral. Don't know why you're glowing like that. That is bizarro land. It's a little snowy in here though. Anyways, I am here because I have, let's see, all these so set artifacts. I'm going to see just picking up, up like, uh, tee that. Then I'm going to tee this one in. Hopefully this counts. Ten. Off the island. Okay, I guess it doesn't count. Okay, treatment thing does not work still. Still don't know why that uh, one dire wolf there is uh, glowing. Has a plus one. I guess they changed the effects rules, I have no idea why. Either I turned some graphic settings up or the fog has gone bizarre. Gray? Weird? It may have just been my graphics card because I replaced it. The fog is used, uh, used to be super dense, now it's not. More atmospheric, okay. I have to figure that out that sending. Still look, I'm still looking for a new dino, just the dino wipe. Looking for the said, uh, the tapper tongue guy, or the hyenas, first of all, or that uh, weird uh, furry rex looking thing. Okay, found some hyenas, so I'll take one. I got one. 
I'm not sure if I can team it or not. I'm gonna take. Uh, I can't really take it to the volcano no more for teaming. I'm not sure if my teaming pen is locked or not. Then I also am not sure if the t tech uh, turret's still on and probably shoot it. This is tr uh, bad times. I found a hyena. That's pretty good. Uh, I think one of the dinos is not tame one and could be that hyena. What's that? What the? Why does the car now glow? Uh, bright something or another? Gonna press packs, pay, take a screenshot of that. That's the furry rex. It's through the hyena. I can't grab that said furry rex. There's two furry rexes here. I'm going to press backspace to get another screenshot of this uh, crazy crap. I think the furry rexes are getting attacked somehow and they're telling the Carnos to ally with them and everything else is hostile. Okay. Let's see now where the furry rexes are here and actually the Carnos ate them. This is bad. I'm gonna just kill these guys. The real, and also the guy. At least I know what they look like. If I can't pick them up, I think I can pick them up. They have the inventory. They have a uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex arms. Okay. I'm gonna go get another hyena. I still have to figure out what these guys do. Okay, my Timmy pen is open and... Uh, yeah, that's not good. I'm gonna drop you guy right here. Oh, it'll just be safe there. I'm going just to land here and I'm going to so close these gate uh, doors and gates and whatever I can and not turn out the tech uh, generator or said tech stuff off. Hope your Rex is on here. Turn off the tech gun, it'll be just easier. Okay, the hyena is there. I will dump it this here and also do some research beforehand. Okay, I found out that you don't drink it, you have to feed it the uh, kibble up his ass. Maybe. By petting it. I to pet it? I find it to feed it the carnal kibble. Did I d lose any carnal kibble? This is a weird tame. Tame, tame. Okay. Gotta wait 15 seconds. Taming at 3%. I think it does need the carnal kibble. Hopefully, that is correct. It's level 25, should uh, take instantaneously affect mounts. Still have to pet it. It is the weirdest one ever. I thought you had to give it carnum kibble. Okay, I figured out what the these guys do, and I'm sorry if my microphone has static sounds on it. I have no idea why. I checked the recording back, and apparently it has re static sounds on it. It could be in this recording too. It seems to be random. I have no idea why it's doing it. It could be it's failing, or the wire's failing, I'm not sure. Anyways, these guys, if you pet them, give you an XP boost. Or... Stat. Though I can't tell it from here. And I can pet them infinitely. A lot. Give you more health. I guess it's just like uh, what, one of those uh, container things you find in the wild artifacts. You'll give you some XP boost. Wow, you jump? Neat. Uh, that doesn't really, not really sure how this XP bonus works or not. Pressing you. Uh, weird. Uh, I can pet them a lot. Maybe I can have multiple of them, but I don't really want to get multiple of them. Because petting it to tame it, it's really stupid. I'm gonna close that. Alright, the uh, next Dino I'm gonna guess to go for is that the one that poops a golden egg if I can ever find it. Uh, 
it's down itself and you need to kill like a fish in the ocean to drag it up to it and that's gonna be pretty stupid before I get anything I can make a saddle for you so I'm gonna throw this on you anyways you can put a saddle on him he can pet it's not really a saddle more like uh, you can carry more stuff of him like or meat I'm not really sure why so the saddles uh, crafting here it increased meat carrying and preservation calibility. So he's like a preserving bin that can follow you around. That you can pet, which I still don't know what it does exactly. It says XP something, but I don't know. Anyways, I'm on as well look for one of those super duper woolly rexes, but I don't really want to because it might make the quetzal flee. But I've been told that it might not only totally work right now because it's kind of glitched. Anyways, I'm going still north to find one and also maybe find those uh, sloth looking guys. Okay, found one already. The Quetzal should be safe here, let's see. I'm not sure if I hit anything. I'm just going to keep on hitting something until I hit something like that. Him again. He's out. These carnos are gonna be a problem though. I'm gonna have to go like uh, and drag him over here a billion miles away like this. He's unconscious. I think he takes a Kyrosin kibble, which I don't have. Oh, new soul effects. But uh, he should eat like a ton of prime. That should go work. He is level 15, I don't really care for kibble. He should eat prime, maybe, I don't know. He is one woolly, yeah, he'll eat it. One woolly guy. Alright. Okay, I guess all the wolves have red clothes on it. I think it says it's something about a wolf pack and how it can do more stuff when there are more of them around. It's like the Al Alasaur type deal. They do more damage, like the bites and stuff. This guy, uh, I don't want to need to put tricks on him. Well, in Quetzal, though, I might have to kill these wolves. Because they were trying to get close to my stuff. Okay, this guy's here. Next to those, uh, bro. guys there. Let's see. Seven right there. There is a sloth back there. Holy cow. That's what they look like. Okay, I got freezing. Oh, I am freezing. I am freezing. I don't have my wool armor on and I don't have the stuff for me. So, hopefully this guy stays here and also get out of that. I need to get some help Bruce quickly. Should be get from the base over here. Hopefully that guy does not get killed by anything. There we go. Tame this guy. And then he got his head stuck on me for some reason. Or I have no idea why. I'm going to change your name if it doesn't leg. Control the mini dodo rex because you look like a mini dodo rex. Stop follow me. I have to go back to base see if you need a saddle and test you out. Um, hmm. Huh. Huh. Okay. The magical wheel that helps you with the loot creates is here for some reason. I have no idea why it's up above the surface like that. Okay, dokie. Hopefully, it does not attack my mini dodo rex. Wacky whale. Oh, yeah, I forgot about it. I had put mods so that I can tame those guys permanently. Though, I'm not sure why they would despawn them up here. Very strange, very strange. Um, the golden egg guys are right there, and I didn't know about it. So. I'll come back here what, what later when the circle's done killing things and test that out or I can drop this guy off then go for the mini birds which are right next to the fishes they need to be passively tamed for. Okay, you sit here. I have to go get those uh, mini bird things. That's killing the mini birds. Dead. Itty is on me again. 
I didn't attack you. I only thought that like, Sarko. Stupid, you are still set. We're still running with those guys. Okay, these guys are passive. It's by uh, killing said fishes like this. I can drag the body, drop it. How do I do this? Feed fish. Oh, you need the building fishes. And what level is this guy? 125, no wonder. Well, then again, there's a lot of fishes here. And I probably don't. Oh, there's a Rex there too. Okay, I need to get this guy on land. Or also, not have B level 125 would be the best. Yeah, they kill stuff. For you to feed tame them, which is nice. Come on, come on, land. I got this fish body. I know that one's coming to land. That's 125. This one's up to 55. Can we get up to close to it and tell it the feed? Uh, feed? Yeah, what was the team effect this on that one? I don't know. 1.5 still? That's one 1.5 on the team effect. We saw that guy too. But there's a lot of fishers here. I come back when I figure out how to effectively get one of these guys. And not have Rex after me. Now the Rex is dead. Okay, so effectively these guys are useless to tame up because. Uh, for me there right now, because, uh, thank you, Ernest. Uh, because uh, I feed them fish, they get, they get teaming effectiveness of one point and something, then, then they also eat the other fish around it, so, you can't really get enough fish to eat, uh, tame up on, well, these high level ones, this 120, 50 or 125 one, then level 55 one, I think I got screwed over on, I think I need to add, like, uh, uh, it's 55. I need mean, like a level one or two, more be more effective than these ones here. Got 10 effectiveness of 10 so far on that. I just not see affecting this. I just say taming bar. This one is at the the 125 at 5%. They are dropping their eggs a lot though. Oh, he survived the hit. Now he's dead. Alright, it's time to go get myself a sloth now. Okay, just take the one that was over there. I am now going to throw it in the taming pan. Okay, I had to train him, and also he uh, takes cable from a new dino. Just they just released the ones in the caves, the lizard. So I'm not gonna get that lizard right now. I'm gonna train him in the head, and hopefully he comes out, or just goes weird. Oh, I missed a drink. Out! Yay! Sticking his head out a bit. I want to throw his honey in here. Hopefully the team's up on the honey, and hopefully the tea uh, spoil time is 7 minutes. You should watch that. Okay, he was getting close to being done taming. I just uh, throw this the rest of this honey in there, why not? Before level 45. Okay, I'm gonna call you Sloth. Except, okay, made the saddles, also got a uh, saddle for the new dino, that it's a cave crawler. Yeah, somewhere. Anyways, saddle for you, mini Dirtrex, your tennis uh, saddle, there we go. Or really. Alright. Let's test you out by uh, attacking stuff that's not around here. Why am I freezing here? Weird. Left click, right click, the war, let's see if we got a C tag. Uh, C and right click seem to be the same, so let's see here, this guy right here, war. It has a purple effect that it makes it run away. Okay, right click is run away. Go maybe a hostile lands and test out the sea attack. Yeah, more of those uh, ocean drop dinos. That one's not glowing. I think that one's called the king one, if I installed them all correctly. So let's get a close up to here and then let's press uh, C. C did squat. Let's this out again. C. C means squat. 
I was supposed to, it's supposed to work better on Carnos. Why are you over here, Dino? What? Whale? Get to die, whale now. Man, this guy's attack is some crap. Well, this guy, I'm not even sure what this level is for this guy. Right, or. And the uh, whales are getting killed by. That whale is getting killed by a mantis, I should say. Okay, I killed 20 rags. Warper went up a little bit. Eh, I can survive. Alright, first things first, stamina. Half skid up to a thousand. How about C on that guy? It's an ally now. There we go, only rocks on Carnos. Okay, this thing is gonna take a while to kill. Maybe it has something good. Guess it's not glowing. So I'm drain out my salmon though. To kill him. Die, please, mighty whale that doesn't make sense here. It was level 40. And there goes this floppy body over there. Yeah, the stamina is way. Uh, more stamina. Yeah, I don't think it's really useful to tame right now because I think this is glitch is supposed to be, uh, the boar is supposed to scare off uh, Rexus and stuff, but it's not. Some could call it the uh, wacky dino for now. All right, time to test up the sloth. Let's move you out. You walk on all your fours, though you stand on your two hind feet. Okay, I'm gonna press backspace for a second. Okay, let's see. Left click is a paw attack. Right click is a ground pound. To, uh, open your mouth attack. Uh, let's see. C. There is no C attack. Okay, I'm gonna go test out by uh, attacking some dinos. That are over here. Does he harvest anything? He does he eat berries? So that's a good thing. Also, still harvests berries. Does he harvest any trees? Man, he's a fetch collector. The, but it doesn't beat the woolly rhino. Let's see if he can kill a trike. Kill that little fitting trike. And harvests his meat too. And chitin. Oh. Huh. Neat little dino. I'm not sure if uh, he does eat meat though too. I'm not sure about the fairies. He's a old brown dino. He is slow though. That are walking back and forth. I'd probably want to stay away from the allosaurus. Oh good, we got hyenas on the beach. I could have went quarantined the hyena now. Now the pack comes in and then the pack goes away. These guys are still glowing red. But they won't attack me. Killed it. Body raid. Dulled away. Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure about the pack stuff. Well, that guy's dead. He flew. Alright. This is pretty alright. I need bigger onyx kibble and go in one of the caves to find that the lizard guy that walks on seedlings and stuff. That's going to be fun to find in one of the caves. As there's a chance of finding all the spiders and titan boas everywhere. And scorpions. Because they fixed the single player file for loading in those monsters inside the caves. Yay. Um, hmm. There's no uh, Yornos, uh, other Yornoses around here, but they lay eggs. This one's female, there's a male around around? I don't know. Okay, I am in the southwest area with map load. So the cave is somewhere around here somewhere. I am gonna test out the south east cave. Uh, do, 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 do. So there's one right down there, that cave. I can also tell us that one about, but I'll test out the one that's in this patchy forest. I would have it on this guy. I'm gonna take some of that. I'm gonna take half that prime meat. I don't need this stuff on me right now. Uh, keep that, keep that. Not have that though. 
Uh, hopefully I can tame this uh, lizard guy up with prime meat. I'm not really sure. It only says kill for some reason and probably raw mud. Or this rock. He should be safe on that rock. Okay, I'm going into this cave. And hopefully, if I put the drinks on this side and then put this on this side and then put this on this side, I should find this said lizard. Apparently he walks on the ceiling. And apparently I don't have my telk helmet on. Don't really want my tech helmet on because it's uh, annoying that it has that black sideboards on it. Unless there's a S plus tech helmet somewhere down the road, I think not. Okay, I just got the artifact achievement and also something that just uh, killed me. Well, my armor. I think it's an Anthropura somewhere. It's somewhere in the wall, I think, maybe. I lost my drink, or, I mean, uh, tech armor on that. Yeah, I can't see it, but it can kill me. Yep, it's coming out the walls, coming out the walls. Guys, coming out the walls now. Uh, another time over. Yeah, just got the artifact achievement for getting that. Now, that was so weird. I finally get it by just going to the there. That guy dead. That guy's dead. Still no sloth. So I just lost my tech armor after I repaired that. Yeah, costly Avengers for that. Uh, let's put this here. Let's uh, get my gra useful grappling hook a uh, use. Okay, for hanging from a ceiling here, I see one of these lizard guys in the cave to the far east and the south. That's not in the middle, in the jungle, on the swamp. Hopefully, it doesn't go on lava. Hopefully it just stays right below me. I think I knocked it out. Hopefully it takes meat, because that's the only thing I have on me, and plus it's a torpor and prime meat. It's going down a, a tad bit. It's like a giga torpor, and I don't have to kibble for it, because I don't have any... I only have one sheep, and... The kibble needs mutton. Get it for sheep. I might have to increase the mutt the, the sheep timer too. And also keep on remembering the fucking eels. And it's your nizzes. And Pego Masters. Uh, yeah. Okay, hopefully it eats something. It's level 15. It should do something. There we go. And call you lizard. And then I'm gonna tell you the new truth and passives and stop following me. And then I'm gonna put this saddle on you. I think it's the right saddle. Put that back, see. Alright, take out a lizard friend now. I can't climb up those walls. Okay, can you climb up this wall? Just press space. There we go, let's shift. I can climb up this wall, yay! Probably don't want to do it around lava. I can back up too. You can climb ceilings. If we're going to first person, that's uh, disorienting. So I want to climb around here when I said not climb lava, and now I'm doing it. So that must alright. I want to go up these. Back up. Go this way! We need to get out of here! And I didn't even burn my Quetzal, I used the jetpack on the tech gear, so it's gonna get a little bit harder to get you back. But at least you can climb mountains, this is good. Let's go to the first person. Like, I'm on a sideways mountain, and first person, your, your camera's gonna be disoriented doing this. Especially when you go on top of the ceiling. 
and everything is upside down. Even lava is flowing upwards. Yeah, I think this is a problem when you have a dino you can tame and put a saddle on and you can't get it for, for the cave entrance. This is some um, malarkey. I saw a video of somebody taming one in the Carno Cave. They had the same problem. You can't get them out because that cave has a water entrance. Let's see, can I get you to walk out this way, please? Come on, walk this way. You can get him to go on the ceiling, maybe, but not as a little tiny rock or the side walls, but no, I don't think so. So I can't, like, get you to climb the ceiling here. You can press space. Climb the ceiling. Can I wiggle the little out? No, 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 I'm just going upside down. Wacky, wacky, wacky. Whoa, he's doing flips. He's doing the wacky maneuver flips. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna ghost him out. Yeah, that has some neat ass flips. Okay, ghost of the moat, because I'm not gonna fall for that arc. I'm not gonna let my dino get stuck in there, then get killed by random things. Okay, climb the wall. Okay, you can climb ceilings. You know you can climb this. You have to hold sp uh, press space to do it, though. Yay! That's an interesting location. Even shape. Attached movement. All right, I'll see if I can get him back without a quetzal. If not, I'm, he's gonna probably die because he's low health. Okay, he doesn't move that well. He can't really attack anything that well, except for Titan, Mira, Compies, and other stuff. Um, a little bit of levels. So I am going to park him right up here and come back here and pick him up in style. I want to use my deck here to get back. Okay, I'm making myself a toilet. Me uh, wrong one. Misc. I need vertical pearls. That's why I created this thing. Inventory. Nine pearls. I'm using stone to make silica pearls. Then silica pearls to make black pearls. Crafting. Misc. A boat. Uh, I need to turn this on, please. Mix. Let's craft one boat. I think it needs a zone generator too. Ah. Yeah, placing the boat. It's right there, ready to go. And pick up some stupid lizard that likes to not be good as a team. Okay, um, I'm putting the engine. I can put it right here. Do that. Turn it on. Oh, has an inventory. Okay, well, why did I have to take this out? So, uh, we'll run for a while. I uh, probably want to get rid of this then. Then, oh, fuck, you needed this. I have no idea why. Anyways, I am now going to play some toilets. Like one right here. And probably another one somewhere. Right here. Alright, I got some toilets. I can sh on the toilets. Alright, see how fast this boat is. Uh, I think it's a little bit faster than a regular old boat. Alright, I'll go pick up the lizard now. I think I found an alpha shark. Oh my god, there's an alpha shark. Put this here. Let's see that correctly. That's a strong shark if it's alpha. Yep, it was alpha megalodon. Take those shark fans, and he had drops. Yeah, definitely alpha shark, and that was a whale. Whale. Yeah, I have. That's the first time seeing an alpha shark. They're pretty. Good. 
And there's one of the little tiny fishes again. I'm gonna just go on here. There's salmon in here. I might be able to uh, give it some salmon and it might uh, team up easier. Hopefully the salmon don't uh, freak out when I kill another salmon. Or Mega Prana. 10% taming and plus it's a big river so it should tame even faster. Okay. I need to drink this again. Bird has landed on the boat. Now it's back in the water. Wish this thing would stay on me when I'm holding it, or else the thing comes down and tries to uh, eat it itself. And I don't get any taming. And I uh, can't get it to stay still sometimes. It's stupid because it sees that fish and wants to kill it and then go down and eat it. Taming 77, I did not feed it, kiss it. It's stupid. Drag the body, please. There we go. It's at 94%. I just need to feed it like one more saber tooth salmon. There's one right there. Let go of the body. Kill the mega piranha. And kill the bird that I was going after, because the stupid arc called Art wants to make you feed it fish. Even low level 10, you can't get it up close enough before a mega piranha comes around and you accidentally hit your team that you're trying to passively tame by killing fish. And stupid. Okay, I found a level two of it. But this time, I'm gonna probably reduce that line a bit. I have my really useful grapple on it. So I can say drag it and then keep a hold of it. And also feed a fish. Or I could probably put a wall inside the boat. Well, dragging the surface because it uh, won't stay in the water. Oh, it, uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna make a boat uh, house on that boat. Maybe the thatch. And then stick that guy in it. And then just feed it fishes that way. Uh, dragging him back. You're not getting close away from me, and I'm gonna drop you into this place right here. Ah, you're in there, you can't get out, and then it's easier for me to dra drag fish in. He pooped out an egg. He's gone hostile. For me trapping him. I had a fish here, but... They have a hostile... Did they just go hostile when they... Get trapped? Because that's problematic. Um, hmm, I'm guessing it pooped out a golden egg. Feed it again, turn the mint, there's no strength, and feed it small creatures for enlightenment, so XP bonus. Okay, mix that with a uh, Lystro, you probably get a lot done. I'm now going this way, and then I'm gonna flop in here. And drag this. Can't drag it in when he's hitting me, apparently. Eat the fish. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm gonna tame one anytime soon because they're really stupid to tame. And there's a chance that you might be able to kill them and they at level one or two or four. There's a chance of them getting killed and taking too many fish. They should lower the fish count. Alright, time to pick you up and drag you around for the other side. So it can go on the boat and with the little tiny bird that might be stupid and try to attack you. And here we go, an overclassed ride for you. Okay, and now I can use the ability of reverse in a boat. Get out of that mess, then drive that way and back to the base. Hopefully that's the plan. The evil bird still in there. It is. Hopefully, it puts up some golden eggs. That's only useful right now for it, because it can't really be tamed. 